Familiar foes, Baudry explained that a group of Falmar are on the verge of overrunning the cave. Siri agreed to track down and slave the Falmar chieftain to ensure the survival of Claudio's tribe. Is gonna come down? What? Just letting you guys know this is glitchy. For some reason these just stop coming down. I'm out of here. 
I'm alive. That makes me paranoid. What is it? The Falmer Chieftain is dead. You are much more than a simple Stormcloak, my friend. You have saved us from starvation and the depredations of the Pale Ones. So long as I draw breath, my tribe will follow a path of reconciliation with the Nords. The time of the sword has ended. I thank you. We all thank you. Come on, stop stuttering. Or don't worse, don't crash. Wait. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do this by horse. to the game volume. Okay. 
as usual, f uh, fast forward if you need to. That wasn't that bad. Oh, shit. I've got weapons forgiven, armor forget. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. How did you end up a uh, storm cloak? Signed up with my family. Didn't want to look back years from now and regret not doing my part. How about you? I believe the storm cloaks are Skyrim's best option for stopping the Thalmor. Really? You know what kind of resources the Altmeri Dominion has? It's going to take more than raw enthusiasm to defeat them. You have an odd accent. It's a product of sailing with my cousin, Aldrich Bloodaxe. Most of his crew were spared from Agerheim. He lived among them for years. The spared are savages, but damn competent sailors. It's a shame the clans are always at each other's throats. We could use their longships. Much about them is strange, including the accent. You don't want them for an enemy. That's the God's damn truth. So, Audric is a good friend of yours? Audric is the best kind of friend. He tells me when I'm wrong, even when I don't want to hear it. I know he's family, but he's closer than most family. A lot of my family, I prefer to stab him. Audric is crazy. Uh, I mean, crazier than anyone, in fact, uh, but loyal. Audric doesn't have many friends, for good reason, but those that he has, he'll do anything for him, including sticking his boot right up to her ass. What will you do after the fighting is done? What do you mean, after? I mean, look, after we've secured Skyrim and the Thalmor are no longer a threat, well, I'm not sure. I love hunting. Always have. I like the outdoors. And being alone. I don't like being with people I know. Most people don't want to admit that, but I like uh, solitude. If I had my brothers, I'd just live in some cabin up in the woods and hunt some deer every now and then, read, and uh, I don't know, maybe other things. What kind of other things? The kind of things you don't freely share with uh, fellow Stormcloaks. I'm going to tell you, but I swear to tell us if you should tell anyone, I'll cut your throat. I mean, not, not joking. I, I like to paint. Uh, I love the vistas and the views outside. I like to sit up on the mountains and paint the world as I see it. Obviously, it's not the kind of hobby you talk about when you're supposed to be a uh, bloodthirsty uh, Stormcloak officer. The natural world fascinates me, though. I love animals. I mean, I hunt them, but just the bare minimum to survive and to kind of keep myself sharp. Besides, if I wasn't a good hunter, the, uh, it would be one more thing for the Nord Nords to criticize me about. They'd say the breath inside was coming out and that uh, I was weak because of it, so I hunt the animals. But I respect them, no question. No other friends besides Audric? I've had lots of friends, but most are dead or maimed. It's just how it goes with war. I had a thing for another Stormcloak girl when I was lower rank. But she wouldn't marry a half Briton, much less a bastard, so... She married some noble 
was a craven. I challenged him to a duel, chopped his head off, and she cursed my name. That was the end of it, so. No outro is about my only good friend left. Oh boy. I ended up helping a small group of Forsworn. They claim to want peace now. You'll excuse me if I'm a little skeptical, but uh, I find it hard to take the word of Forsworn savages at face value. I'm going to trust you on this, but if I find out that group is causing trouble, if you just jeopardized people's lives because of your high-minded altruism, then I will settle with you later. We understand each other. That aside, check with me if you want more work. Oh, I think that's the end of that quest. I think I'll continue on with the extras. See you later.